here from the BCO SciComm team, and today I'm joined again by Francis from the education team. Hi, Francis. How's it going? It's good. It's good. So we've got a bit of sunshine. Now the weather's looking pretty good, so we're going to take advantage of that, and we're going to do a sun activity and use the light for Francis. Well, we're going to be using the sun and the shadows it casts to tell time. Really cool. Like the original way to tell time, before clocks and, and smartphones and that sort of thing. Yeah, so, you know, if you're not sure what time it is, well, our sense of time is based on the sun. And sundials can tell us the time. When we're working at Black Rock Castle, we got a sundial right in the middle of the courtyard. And it uses people and their shadows to tell the time. Right. So one way to get started in discovering about this is to look at how shadows get formed. Okay. Now, if there's no sun, you take a block of whatever you have and a light source, a lamp or a torch, and you can look at your shadows. So, I mean, I got a cup here, I've got a lamp. I can kind of look and see if I move the lamp around, the shadows change. And that's yeah. the idea that we're getting at. That as the light source changes, the shadows that are cast will also change. So on a beautiful sunny day, which obviously we have so many of here in Ireland, take yourself outside and look at your shadow. If you have chalk and you're in a place that you can mark it up, mark your shadow on the ground. And does it change from the morning through lunchtime? through to the afternoon. Can you fit in your shadow if you go out a couple of hours later? It's, it's kind of cool and really surprising if you try that. Now, only do this if you've got like chalk and people who don't mind you drawing all over their pavement. Okay. <laughs> if it's your, uh, a place where you can't do that, maybe put some stones around oh, okay. and mark out your shadow with stones. And you'll discover that your shadow changes over the course of the day. So a really straightforward sundial is to take some kind of stick, prop it up, and then mark where the shadow is every hour. And I set one up using a bamboo garden pole and an upturned flower pot. And I went out, I set the alarm every hour, and I went out for the whole day and put a rock in the right position. I've come outside to see what time it is using the sundial that I made yesterday. And you can see that the shadow is running straight along, very close to this line, between the stones that I marked for 1.30 and 2.30 yesterday. So it's about halfway between 1.30 and 2.30. And let's check the time. Oh, can't see it on the Kindle, but it's telling me it is 2.07. So I'd say, yeah, as long as it's sunny, this clock works. And that's your basic sundial. Mm -hmm. One thing to remember is it's got to be in sun the whole day. I forgot that and I went out at 5.30 and I couldn't mark the sun <laughs> and the shadow because the building's shadow was covering it up. So my uh, sun works till around 5 o'clock each day. <laughs> yeah. Now, the history of sun does like this is actually really old. It goes back to, for the common era, to ancient Egypt. And there's actually a sundial that they found. They dug it up and found the markings of the hours as lines that would have had the effect of being a clock. So how cool is that? Really cool. So now, if we want to make our own sundial and you don't have an outdoor space, you can make a version in cardboard. And the instructions for doing that can be found on spaceweek.ie under our for teacher section, because we originally developed this for schools to use. But anybody can do this straightforward enough to make and then once you've got it made take it outside and see how it works you've got one that you've made yes and I've got one that I've made see why and you can see with Danielle look at how that shadow is casting so yeah standard or the gnomon sticks up the dial has the time on it and depending where the shadow is cast it tells you the time. Yeah. Important points. There's an arrow that says point south. Yes. Okay. Because otherwise it'll tell you some funky time. The way this is designed, it's got to be pointing north south. Um, so you point it south, 
And then as the sun, I'm going to use my torch because I'm not outside. Yeah. Use my, there we go. So my sun is shining on one side. So the shadow is on the opposite side. Whoa, there we go. Right. Okay. And depending on where the sun is, if the sun is directly in the south, there's hardly any shadow. And that's the middle of the day. Mm -hmm. For us in Ireland, our middle of the day in the summer is around 1.30. So if you look very carefully at these, these are set for winter time, not summer oh. time. So there's going to be okay. a one hour difference because we all turned our clocks right. when we went into summertime. So allow for the fact that there's one hour difference. So if you want to just check this yourself, make it, go outside, use your watch to tell you what time it is, you can adjust these to be absolutely perfect for Irish standard time, which is a summertime daylight saving zone. Okay. There's our using the sunlight to tell the time. Pretty, pretty simple to do too. A little bit big for fitting on your, <laughs> yeah, it's on your wrist, but still workable. <laughs> it could work. It's a fashion statement. <laughs> you can only hand, have your hand facing south. Oh, right. Yeah. So you must have a compass would be useful as well. Maybe compass. Yeah, you need a compass to work with this. <laughs> but, you know, if you want to set one up in your garden or on your balcony or in a room that faces south for most of the day, and right. if you're not sure about your north-south, set up a stick, mark the shadows, and when the shadow is at its shortest, that's the middle of the day. And the Perfect. direction of the shadow will be pointing north, so mark that line down, and then you got your north-south. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Francis. That's a really fun activity. Very simple. You don't need a lot of materials. Everybody's got probably some cardboard or cereal box or something they can cut this out of at home. And you can complete it with <laughs> your boxes, a little bit of glue and some scissors, good to go. So a pretty simple activity to do at home as long as we've got some sunshine. Thanks so much for explaining that. If you want more information, head on over to our website at bco.ie where we'll have more resources there. And if you do the activity, let us know. We wanna see your pictures. We wanna see how it comes out. And if you have any further questions, you can always leave them in the comment section down below. So.